You may now observe my stream with the, the newfangled chat. Okay, we are live uh, after everybody should be yeah I'm uh, I am now ready call, call, call me your goddamn fucking horses I think after 20 it makes you wait. Uh, I will be honest, uh, when you started the sentence, uh, I thought that you were saying it's kind of weird that it feels like fallout, and then the phrase would continue, and I was like, Okay, look, this year has not been great, but like, <laughs> we're not at that point yet. Yeah, although... Hmm. Can we... Can we check if they if she was magically ambiguous? Because as we all know, magic is a real thing that actually exists, so... Can, can, I, can I do a roll of... Uh, can I do a roll for checking if uh, my adversary is magically ambiguous? Esoteric, among other things, I think. Uh, and uh, I'm very ready to tell you that I'm not actually trained in Esoterica. Uh, I am trained in Esoterica because I'm new. Um...
Okay. Ah, I see. So, what is the check if something has been magically and begin roll? All right. I'm I'm going to stop you right there. I'm too lazy to figure it out. I'm not going to check if she was magically and begin. <laughs> I do not have nature. If somebody else wants to take a shot at it, then yeah, go ahead. Normally, if we were playing in person, Steve would have, like, a cool prop. But. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me just uh, start right there. Does anything come to mind that was notable and happened on August 18, August 15, 1977? So, we... Oh, uh, yeah, then, sure. <laughs> that happened here, actually, I believe. <laughs> uh, I mean, I was going to just do... Uh, I was going to do a test, like a... Like an probably mm. Yeah, I also have access to a GM that can Google things for me, right? Like <laughs> Right. It is now time for somebody that is not me to figure out to figure out what to do with that information. Oh yeah, that also that also actually makes sense, right? There usually isn't an armed presence uh, on a national lab. There is not, uh, or at least not a paramilitary force. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that is the date. It's the date that <laughs> Dave's piece all got outcluded to. That was a mistake. You already had. Why did you put us back? <laughs> then back and then back again. Have we figured out if uh, the person that just attacked us was a Scottish or Russian yet? <laughs> Jokes aside, um, I'm assuming that there is no, that they don't, none of these people have any form of personal identification in them or anything like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but we don't know that there are any of those things. <laughs> oh yeah, the Verkia Sorrento. <laughs> Uh, can I tap into my uh, the into my knowledge of random conspiracy theories that comes with uh, with our with uh, esoterica to see if I have any inkling of what these uh, if these uh, if these idiots belong to some sort of uh, well known mercenary force or something like that or. Uh... Recalling information. Yeah. I'm assuming this is recall recalling information. Uh, because I made a mistake, I don't know. 
Sure. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's a. Is it a twelve? Reholding information goes. Does reholding information go? Yeah. Okay, so it is a six. So it's actually a twelve because I have uh, intensive. Uh, it, I have uh, intensive study. I think it's called. Oh, okay. I mean, sure. I didn't know if it would, uh, um, if it would automatically do it. I guess. Yeah, this isn't. Right. Hmm. And uh, you don't mean the animal, you mean uh, a member of the band rap. Mm. I got a 12, yeah. I declared that it's unfortunate that they would not find any find anything more concrete and yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming that like by the time that the next person uh, decides to do something or say something, I'm still doing that. I'm like, no, you see, this is <laughs> Also, actually, there is another question. Like, I'm assuming that there is, like... Like, this is a public facility that has, like, access to... Like, it has a purpose outside of Slab, right? But clearly there is some sort of Slab enclave here, because we knew that that had gone silent. Probably that is located somewhere, right? Can we go there?
We can check the readings from the telescope if we picked it up. Oh yes, something in Russian, I think? I think it like I think it means that uh, yeah his con I think it means that his connection to language as it exists that does not is not tethered to a specific uh, to a specific thing so as long as a word means a concept he will be able to associate that word to that concept obviously like it, it the word Dave doesn't have a translation because it's it's a name, like what does it mean? It means Dave, it's a guy. <laughs> yeah. But unless uh, the word that uh, um unless the word that we don't know the meaning of is a proper noun he should know what it means it's not a proper noun i meant sorry Yeah, that that part uh, I we got. Mm.
Yeah, there, there you go. Mm. How Wikipedia works? <laughs> How Wikipedia works? Ah, yeah. I think that... I think that seven sigils and angels with trumpets? <laughs> Please activate additional terminals to create Armageddon. Can you look at the main page for the Armageddon command? <laughs>
I mean, if this is like me uh, like Metroid, I think that the, your answer is to curl up in a ball and start dropping bombs, right? I think that that's... <laughs> People can replace keyboards. A keyboard isn't... <laughs> People can replace USB ports. You're gonna be that fake. It's fine. We have a, 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 a we have a technique called going in, in a vertical line, or I don't think that's actually how it's called. But you know, <laughs> single file. There you go. Perfect. We got that. Um, sure. I said sure. <laughs> Literally, in your case, you can actually just do that. I, I'm happy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm all I'm also gonna check. I, I refuse to do anything that can be described as engineering it up, but I will roll engineering. Mechanics, I'm assuming. S uh, s perception or a subtle action? I did, I did, I did roll a 19, so, you know, val value. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I could easily perceive it because I could hear how the sound returned it from the wall while we were talking. That's why we were talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, that <laughs> I was about to do that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you might want to stand back for this one, and then I just, I slap the wall to, like, make it, uh, yeah, to just, like, I, I, I basically, like, cup my hand and just slap the wall to make, like, kind of, like, a noise, and, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what draw do you want? Uh, I would say that counts as not flubbing it up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm assuming that the guys that were they're like hanging back are like just hearing like whoa, <laughs> just and like there is like a, a gust of wind coming towards them. So. Like, <laughs> we mean let's I call over the other two and say, Hey, come over here. <laughs> we have uh, we found the uh, we found the thing, so let's then yeah, we made the thing. Well, we found what's behind the thing that they made. Yes.
moment. <laughs> we figured it out. <laughs> You you try to scam it for its money, I guess. <laughs> Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, how likely do you guys think that opening the opening the orb will uh, uh, trigger the apocalypse? Okay. T <laughs> Well, <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> well, they put it on the news because it was hilarious. That part is pretty clear. <laughs> I become the orb. Okay. We can play... Um, if we manage to make the orb stop floating, we would probably like do a pretty mean game of 2v2 soccer. Oh, then that's soccer it is. Yeah. <laughs> it will either usher the apocalypse or it won't. It's fine. <laughs> I will, uh, do you know what, uh, fun fact, do you know what Coleco stand for, stands for? It's, it's uh, an acronym for Connecticut Leather Company, because that's what it was before they started making consoles. I am 100% serious! <laughs>
I, all, I, I like giving Steve uh, uh, a random piece of information <laughs> sometimes because you never know which one will just ruin his day. They, they began in 1932 as the Connecticut Head Leather Company. Uh, in the 60s, uh, their CEO bought uh, a couple of toy makers. Uh, during the 70s, uh, when they became uh, uh, starting to be a little bit less, like they, they started uh, being less popular in 76, they decided to open a small division that would work on computers. That's when. Uh, uh, you know, like computers were starting to be more and more of a thing, uh, and eventually created uh, um, created uh, electronic games, and then uh, the leather part of the company eventually just uh, closed off. That's uh... Well, if it's a ColecoVision, I should be able to play Tetris on it. So I... It's the the Cyrillic, the Megiddo thing. Try writing Connecticut Leather Company. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to use my engineering uh, to double check that statement uh, because I know that it must be true. So yeah, it, it has to be.
No. Oh no! Uh, sure. I didn't do it all. <laughs> Yeah, one second. I I know nothing. See, it is a five, to be fair, but I do know. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be the same bonus, but yes. Uh, sorry, I think. Uh, I will be honest, I kinda got distracted there for a second, so I don't know exactly what I was doing here. <laughs> hmm. 
Because it can be better than a 5. I see E. <laughs> what is this bullshit? <laughs> Th thanks. Useful. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back.
what happened. I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right. Josh, why are you not connect to Roll20? Yeah, he's not. He. Can I do some sort of figure out whether it's re-entry roll? What roll is that? Chemistry then? Or mechanics? Well, here's an 11. Sure. Fine. Oh, so this thing fell down to the earth. No. Yeah. This thing was in space and then. Then was.
Yeah. <laughs> oh no <laughs> Brights down, yada yada yada. All right, what happens on the sound of the... Yeah. Fifty-nine? Uh, uh, nine hike, nine hikers died mysteriously while on an expedition in the Ural mountain mountains of Russia in the Dyatlov Pass incident. Yeah. But considering all the Russian shit that's going on, I'm assuming this is the, about the Dietl of Pass incident.
I don't know what to do with that information, but... Or it's not dated at all. For the holler, uh, the hexadecimal code 2215959 is like a nice dark blue. If people. Yeah. Yes, I just, uh, I just googled 2215959. Oh. Mm-hmm. Quick, heal it. I am. I can give it an engineering. Yeah, and give it, I can give it an engineering role. Uh, forceful action, subtle action. Ah, it's fine. I can probably try. To... I can draw less sex. No, that's actually... Wait, it didn't... What? It didn't add a plus two. A skill bonus, there is a plus two in there. Okay. Okay. It is a six, though. Okay, let's try again. This this roll doesn't count. It's just a yeah. This is a test roll. Still didn't do it. What happens if I put it in grand difficulty? 
well that still didn't do anything so i don't know if the plus two that is getting added is due to the my innate plus two or it's due to forceful action and maybe forceful action doesn't connect to everything let's see what happens if i know it should be connected to my No, 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 yeah, the bonus isn't doing anything. Okay, just letting you know. Yeah, my vitality is 6, so that's getting added, right? Or my expertise, that's also 6. But I have... Uh, the thing is that I have a 2 in my skill bonus due to intensive... Uh, uh, intense... I don't know what that ability is called. Uh, so it should add an, act an extra 2. I get plus 2 to all rolls in all skills that I'm trained in. Well, it, it it's a sex. No, it's a sex, so... Oh. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Right. We we use Google Translate, uh, by which I mean Matt's character. <laughs> it can be both.
Okay, do it and then report. Fine, I'll feel I'll actually Google it though. Bad mask skills. Ah, Caso das mascaras do chumbo. Okay. Are there is there going to be one orb for each unsolved death? They both uh, were found to be dead by from lead poisoning, unsurprisingly. Hmm. Yeah. Did you deploy a hotfix or am I still doing the... Alright, well, I crack another open. Here's a five. Hmm. Yeah, I've been sucking balls at this. Oh, 
I think that's the thing. I, I think... Uh, No, but there is a... When I wrote Salish on Google, it completed to something about... Let me... To something called the Salish Foot Mystery? Salish Sea Human Foot Discoveries. At least 20 detached human feet have been found on the host of the Salish Sea in British Columbia, Canada, and Washington, US. Um... So that could be a thing, that could be what this is referring to. With that said, I can dig a little. I mean, y yes, although I think that Google's Esoterica is better than mine, but... <laughs> I can do it all if uh, to see if uh, <laughs> uh, Salish see a uh, human food discovery. Try. Yeah. Let's see if uh, if I can. Uh, if I can divine any connection uh, between uh, between this uh, all of this garbage that's appearing in front of me, uh, here's a five. How how's a five? <laughs> There is a Salish Sea, an inland sea consisting of Puget Sound, the Strait of Juan de Fuca, and the Strait of Georgia. Yeah, 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 that is the one with the feet. <laughs> Characters named Salish appeared in... Uh, uh, the episode Spirits of the television series Stargate SG-1 and also in the episode The Paradise Syndrome of the television series Star Trek. Um... That's what I got. Feet. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. Eventually we'll fight we him we him more points help with the fit. <laughs> Giant ball. Yeah. We 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 still haven't used our uh, our lifelines. We can call home. Hmm. 
All right. Let's crack one more open and then we'll call the Scots, man. Let's let's do that. I still have uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's see this. Uh engineering mechanics forceful action. Let's go. There you go. 16. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, perfect. Everybody died. Awesome. So, uh, the the thing that it's probably like, if you notice, each of these refers to an incident that happened in a particular year, right? And like, it feels like is is it correct that the pattern is that the older the globe, the older the year that the incident is referring to? Like the one that referred to the fifty nine one was like pretty one of the older ones whereas like you know the ones that were like these ones newer for example right and it's something that happened in 68 the, does that pattern scan steve okay all right that's called steve or whatever his name is uh Yeah. Hmm. They are called Angry Scotsman and Angry Scotsman 2 on the phone. It's very easy. To... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why this keeps happening. Oh, who called who called him? <laughs> Shit. Uh hello Dr. Robertson. Um we have encountered a peculiar situation over here. There's 
I was about to say, yes, there's bolts and they appear to have been in space and there's things inside and they appear to be referring to well, times that people have done. Can somebody explain this better than me? <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the term. You know what? <laughs> I just hand the phone. So there's <laughs> Yeah, somebody has like wired extraneous machines into the system and we think it might cause the apocalypse or prevent the apocalypse, you're not exactly sure which. Uh yeah, we can't get into the system. I told you it was it was always about the bolts. <laughs> I, I I mentioned uh, that I, I mentioned the, the the information that we have found about the in, in the various bolts and what. Yes and yeah, I recounted what happened so far. I mean, uh, People died. The what? Can, <laughs> can you send us a text with the thing that you just said? Because I, there must be some interference here. Wait, you know that, wait, you know the solution? Why don't you just tell us instead of... <laughs> God damn it, he hang up! What is, what is wrong with that man? <laughs> no, this is the only guy that didn't die? I thought that the other guys also died. Sounds like an oversight. We could just head over to the Kaimans to check this out and slash or commit advanced fiscal fraud, but you know. It is closer than Israel.
And they also stole his screws or whatever, I'm assuming. Sure. Maybe the password is transcendent. Some transcendent transcendence. Plus, also, like, how does that connect to the feet thing? I don't think they were just normal feet. <laughs> I do I, <laughs> you, you, that, that is a fair point. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Sure, I guess let's crack the last orb to find another clue that is not going to 
give us any information. See what? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 hail Bob. Right, 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 okay, sorry, I complete. Yeah, 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 I totally, I, I was a nerd. I, 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 I went to like a public, uh, that was like a, an astronomy close to where I was, I did the public thing, and, uh, I was like eight, but I still wanted to go to go see it. My 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 dad brought me over, and then we, and then uh, I think uh, I fell asleep on the car ride coming back because it was late. But it. Hmm. I don't have uh, too many tabs, like I have a good amount, but I have a crazy amount of different windows open because of the streaming and stuff. <laughs> like, it is... So, actually, is there... A... What years did everything happen? We had uh, Gosha card notes, but it's probably easier, Steve, if you just... Since you probably have that all in one place. Can I just have all the years that did that this happen? Okay. Okay. We 
we can put a pin in the fifth thing for now. Nineteen sixty eight, right? I think I know uh, I know what we need to do, but I will need the human feet to do it, the human food to do it. <laughs> so who wants to contribute the food? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fitting to have... Mm. Wouldn't it be fitting to leave a mystery that has to do... Wouldn't it be fitting to leave a mystery that has to do with unsolved mysteries also unsolved? I think we just leave, it's fine. We fi we've, we've, we figured that we figured out the whole invasion thing, we can go back. Like it's it's okay. We went uh, we went to Puerto we went to Arecibo. We figured out we came here to figure out why the whole slab thing wasn't uh, uh, was it? Yeah, because mercenary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, why don't we? Yeah, this is no this is of no interest to us, right? Why don't we actually go find the actual slab facility and then we can. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure they have figured it out. Well, I'm assuming they're all dead, but you know. Can you, uh, can you type, uh, can you put, can you put the blanket, uh, you know how you pull the blanket out without moving the dust? Can you pull the blanket back up under the dust so that it looks like... Hmm. All right, although my point remains, why do we care about all of this? <laughs> so is this the slab facility? Then where is everybody? Oh. Is that, is that where the feet come from? <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Look at pile of feet. <laughs> It's like a shipping label that uh, is adding over to, like, Spokane or whatever. I mean, based on the time that it took us to solve this particular, uh, uh, this particular ride, I would I wouldn't bank on it, but. No, but it's fine because you would have always have unplugged the thing and then plug it back in. That is the Yes. wine tin canister that's been soldered all the way around the outside now 
that's got to be the worst job at the ammunition factory, right? <laughs> soldering, the, hand soldering the lids closed. You know what I just realized? <laughs> it's like a five foot solder gun. The guy's like way over yeah. there. Just like waiting for a round to cook off. Uh, and then it comes with a key and you insert it into the side like a spam can. And then you unwind the tin and it sort of exhales this blast of 40 year old Bulgarian air into your face. <laughs> sure there's nothing nothing to worry about with that. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure like it's fine. Opening Tutankhamun's tomb. They, they all they all but they were all fine. So by the way, oh, yeah. I just want to go on record that thanks to the fact that nobody watching this what was watching the stream tonight up until this moment i could legit not figure out the fact that i was the only one with audio that was transmitted to the stream for the entirety of the night <laughs> nailed it nailed well, it that was definitely the ravings of a lunatic <laughs> yeah. i mean it normally is but like <laughs> oh man Above average. Yeah, above <laughs> average amount of readings of lunatics. It's okay. There are people out there listening to number stations. You're fine. You're a good dog. Yes, you are. Here, you get to see the a videos. large proportion of my YouTube history at this point is just math videos. <laughs> just me watching videos about math. Nice. <laughs> my, like, my YouTube history. <laughs> this is, is what my life is like. <laughs> yeah. My YouTube history is how to make a sword, um, like 900 episodes of Forgotten Weapons, <laughs> and then a lot of rifle building tutorials because I have this rifle and I must build it. I think at this point, if you look at my YouTube history, I want to say that 90% of it is content about Magic the Gathering or content about speedrun. Like, what? There's other stuff sprinkled in there, but like... But that's that's the overwhelming majority. Yeah. Got a, a lot of, uh, like, tool and art restoration. Nice. And, uh, and, and map videos. Yeah, I was, I was watching... <laughs> but mostly map videos, so it's basically... Like, it really is mostly map videos. There was only one video that I could find for a restoration of a, like, 1886 French Labelle cruciform bayonet. Literally only one re uh, restoration video of that. Not surprising, kind of a rare item. It's all in French, and the guy just gives up halfway through the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck it. Yeah, he's just like, this is impossible, I'm done. <laughs> so I was like, I, I was like skipping around through the video and then I'm like, wait, wh what the hell happened? So I watched a little bit and he just like got frustrated and gave up. So like his final product <laughs> looks pretty much the same as it did when he started. Wait, that's not like the end of the video? The end of the video isn't him giving up? No, it doesn't end there. It ends <laughs> with, like, with like a reveal as if he had restored it, but he clearly didn't. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, then there's like a long period of him just sitting in a cafe and smoking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... it, it all just like slowly gets desaturated until it's black and white yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The, the last hour of the video has been descent into ennui. <laughs> it's it's a very French video. Yeah, he's he, he's looking through a window. The camera is facing through the window. You can see the raindrops. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, he uh, yeah he just he just gave the hell up and didn't didn't do any of the stuff that I wanted. That I the only part that I needed to see was him spinning off the little protective nut and unscrewing the handle. And after a number of tries, he just gave up. So I was like, <laughs> well, <I'm... laughs> and it's serious. The video is honestly like two hours long. <laughs> like, I don't, what is the maximum upload length for YouTube? 
10 hours. 10 hours. Okay, it's not 10 hours. It was not 10 hours, but it was a really long YouTube video. Uh, and it was all in French, which is fine because I just needed to see the thing happen. But yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I love it. So then. <laughs> So I'm searching and I'm like, okay, someone must, like, this is the internet, right? Someone has taken one of these apart. So I found an old thread from like 2002 where some guy was like, hey, some guy was like, hey, I'm going to take my LaBelle bayonet apart. Um, any, like, can you help me? And this is like bladeforums.com or whatever. And one guy was like, sure, absolutely. I, I take these apart all the time. I'll post a bunch of pictures and they were all broken photo bucket links. <laughs> uh. Well, so I still have absolutely no idea how to do it and I will figure it out from here. Yep. All right. Well, Godspeed, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't draw have... out your own face. Uh, yeah, I may have to buy two bayonets <laughs> just to hope that I don't ruin the first one. <laughs> just wear your safety glasses. I will definitely do that. I keep them in every drawer. <laughs> Steve's entire house is made of uh, safety glasses, actually. Pretty much. I mean, it, I've had so many near misses at this point. There, there aren't many things I don't do. <laughs> <laughs> Laundry, safety glasses on. Oh, yeah. Any kind of knife sharpening, like even the really soft kind of knife sharpening, I still put my some kind of glasses on. Because um, I almost had a buffing wheel, like pick up a knife and throw it the other day. That would have been more at gut height, but yeah. Still bad. Okay. That's a good look for you, Steven. Stay right there. <laughs> right, right here? Yeah, no, yeah, just pull it up like that. Perfect. Yeah, well, pretty soon I won't need a face mask. Or I can just get a rubber band. <laughs> kind of looks like a face mask. So it's <laughs> small, uh... Well, I didn't think about that when I bought my jet black face masks. Um, but it just looks like I'm wandering around with no mouth. Because <laughs> 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 it, it covers like this part, which is already kind of beard covered. So... <laughs> My mouth just disappears. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, take care, and um, you uh, will solve the next uh, uh, um, terminal. Oh, we, uh, we next won't, time around. But it's, it's, it's good. It's nice of you to think of me. You'll just give up and go find the slab headquarters. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> the the local slab headquarters, which is called. Um, terminal solvers are us <laughs> yes. and they're all it's 10 guys they're all waiting around the phone and they're like what what why aren't they just calling us <laughs> <laughs> we're we're all terminal hackers yeah actually why are we even fighting the password can you just we're, hack the thing we're a gutsy young squad with nothing to lose <laughs> I'm sure that works, right? That's how they all just forlornly take off their Guy Fox masks and yeah. the trash. <laughs> it also descends into Inui. Yeah. I was oh my god, this is I would we're not streaming, are we? Oh yeah, we absolutely are. Okay. I can make a stop off. streaming if this turn is uh, we're about over to for my break <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> If you don't want, if you want to no longer be streaming, that can be a thing. <laughs> so turn off streaming. Okay. This is not a horrible um, story. I will be, I will be back uh, uh, with uh, with more stream in like I don't know, 15, 20 minutes after. Uh, I probably will be continuing the the Pokemon Crystal Clear. Now, so. It's not a horrible story. It's just personal. <laughs> <laughs>